Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel and it is a Tuesday so it is Taste Test Tuesday. Now I have some things here that I found at the Dollar Tree. Um, I was in there the other day picking up some stuff and I just went up and down the snack I'll see if maybe perhaps they had some different snacks that I would be able to eat. So I found, I think I found like five bags of stuff that I'm going to try and then I also have over here three different drinks. And Jade's here with me. Say hi, Jade. Wave hi. Hi. <laughs> Miss Scaredy Cat here. But now I'm going to put her down on the bed so you'll probably see her get back there and get up underneath the blanket. You want to get back here in the bed and get underneath the blanket? Do you? She ain't saying much, is she? All right. We'll put you on there and then you will get on to the tasting. All right. Get on up there. There you go. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to try, I bought this stuff before, but it was a different flavor. I actually, I think, I think it was peanut butter flavor when I got it before. It's called Munch Rides, but these are cheddar and sour cream baked puffs. They're like Cheetos, except, like I said, these are cheddar and sour cream, and I think the ones that I got before were peanut butter flavored. Well, I know I've had these before, but I think I had them in a different flavor. I might have accidentally bought them in the same flavor. I don't know. But I'm going to cut it open. I've got a pair of scissors here to cut them open, like always. Jade's already trying to explore it. So, it feels kind of spicy. Um, it says one ounce is 140 calories, and if you use the whole bag, it's supposed to be 430. So we'll try a little taste of it. You want to try it, Jay? You want to try a little bit? She's acting like she wants to try it. Here you go. It's good. I liked it. Um, it's not like super duper cheesy. It's a mild cheese flavor. But it's actually, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for like if you wanted something to snack while you were watching a movie or whatever. It would work. It's good for that. So let's lay that aside. And now we're going to try called On Young's, which is kind of like Funyuns. Onion flavored rings, very similar to the Funyuns that you get. Um, about 27 pieces, it says, is 120 calories. I tried to pick out soft stuff that I knew that I could chew. Don't hardly have no smell to it at all. Here's what they look like. I forgot to show you the cheese puff things, but everybody knows what a cheese puff looks like. These are what they look like. I'm trying to find a small one. Okay, that's small right there. I like them. Very good. If I was going to rate the cheese puff ones, I would rate them a 7. And the onion ones that I just tried, I would probably rate them like an 8. Because they are pretty good. Now the next thing is called Skinny Pop. Popcorn. Um, I don't know what flavor it is. And I don't even really know if I'm going to be able to chew this. I've been having trouble chewing popcorn here lately. I was given a container of popcorn, one of those great big container of popcorns for Christmas. You don't have like cheddar and butter and caramel. I couldn't hardly chew it. It was choking me. So I may not be able to chew this. It smells pretty good. Let's get a little one and try it. I guess it's just plain old popcorn. It doesn't have no flavor to it at all. It don't taste buttery or caramel or salted or doesn't have any flavor. It's not cheddar cheese flavored or anything. It's just plain old popcorn. So I guess if I was going to rate it, I would give it like a five. It's not, it's not nothing really exciting. So now I have a few more bags over here to try. But I'm going to switch over to the drinks and try some of the drinks. The first one I got 
I actually found, uh, it's called Hint. And there was like four different flavors there to pick from. I picked out apple pear to try. This is a soda I've never heard of and never had before. Oh, don't want to put a whole bunch in there in case I don't like it. Cheers! <laughs> no, I'm not really impressed with that at all. It don't hardly have any flavor to it at all. I guess maybe that's why the name of it is called Hint. It's got like just a hint of flavor. It doesn't taste like pure water, but you can't really taste the apple juicy flavor or a pear juicy flavor. It's very bland. Once again, I'll show you what it is. It's called Caffeine Kick. It says Caffeine Kick. Apple, pear, and other natural flavors from non-GMO plants and natural caffeine from coffee beans. Huh. There's a picture on there called Hint. It's not very good, really. I'll probably not buy it again. And if I was going to rate it between 1 and 10, I'd probably rate it a 3. All right, back to the trying things. Now, these, I got two sweet things to try. This is called Be Fruitful, and it's freeze-dried mangoes. Maintains up to 95% of the nutritional value of the fresh fruit. That's what it says on the back. We're going to cut it open. Now we're going to see what we got. Oops, spilling popcorn all over the place. You want to try that? Jade took it, but I doubt if she'll eat it. She don't like popcorn. I don't know why she's taking it. Probably so she can bury it. Here's what it looks like. I got one of the smallest ones I could get. Of course, they're all pretty small, you know, because they're freeze-dried. There's not a whole lot in there. Um, it's 0.16 ounce, or 16 grams, 0.56 ounce. So let me see if I can even chew it. It's probably... Well, from what little bit I tasted in my mouth, the flavor is good. But it was freeze-dried, and it was so hard I couldn't chew it. I mean, I chewed it around, and it just kind of floated and swam around in my mouth, and I couldn't get it chewed up enough to swallow it. I was afraid I'd choke on it, so I ended up spitting it in the garbage. So I would rate that zero. All right, I guess we need to go back to the drinks. Now, this right here I got is called Teddy's Ginger Beer. I have never heard of ginger beer in my life. I have no idea if it's going to be like root beer or what it's going to taste like since it's ginger beer. But we're going to give it a swig and see what we think about it. It's clear color. It doesn't have any dark brown color to it or anything. No smell either. Cheers. Once again, cheers. Mm. I don't know. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I guess I kind of like it. I can drink it. I'll probably finish the bottle. Um, but I would probably give it like a four. It's not super great tasting, but it's not like just throwing up horrible tasting either. Like I said, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So I got one more drink, but I've also got one more food to try. And this one right here, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. It's, a, it's another sweet. But the reason I say that it's called crispy coconut rolls made with real coconut milk. And the reason I say that, the Dollar Tree has another thing that's very similar to this that's in a metal, a round metal tin can called Parolis. And that's kind of sort of what these are. 
And right now looking in them, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on because they got little spots in them. I don't know if that's mold or, or what that is. You don't see what I got here in my lap. I got a dog trying to get into this bag. Let me get one out. All right, this one don't have any spots on it. It is what it looks like. It smells really good. It tastes good too. I like them. Of course, I kind of knew that I would because the ones I got there that are in the metal can, the Parolis, I like them too. And it's soft enough where I can chew it. I just never have seen any of them that's got those little black dots. Let me get one out and show you. There's several of them in there that's got it. Can y'all see them black dots in there? I don't know if that's mold or part of the coconut roll, but anyhow, several of them's got that. So that's all the food. I got one more drink to try. And it's from that same company, Hint, that made the apple pear. Except this is raspberry. It says water infused with wrap raspberry essence, calories, and sweeteners. So we're going to see if this tastes better than the apple pear one. It's sweet smelling. Cheers again. No, I don't like it. I'm not any more impressed with that than I was with the apple pear. It's not sweet at all. It doesn't taste like plain water. There is just a hint of flavoring in it, but it's not like a real strong, overpowering raspberry taste. But it's, to me, both of those taste more like, um, Oh, seltz, is it called seltzer water? It's that stuff that, uh, Canada Dry, like that, that kind of fizzy water that you get that tastes like Alka Seltzer. And that's basically what this reminds me of. It's not strong like Alka Seltzer, but it's, it's kind of got that seltzer water taste like it. So that's it for our Taste Tuesday. Jade wants to come and say hi. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you know, she ain't going to look at the camera. <laughs> and I want to thank you guys, too, for coming and, and checking in on our channel and watching us do Taste Tuesday. Do thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this. And y'all come back and see us any old time. Bye for this one.